Texas teen threatened to kill his classmates in the school cafeteria. A Pennsylvania girl promised, quote, she would be the first ever female school shooter. We did some checking, and those are just two of 800 school threats since August. And because of threats like those, one local school district told Nick Foley is making some security changes. Here's some stoppers to get started with. Dave Soulsby works with school maintenance crews, handing out parts to these barricade door locks that will soon be installed in all Madison Township schools. So I can shoot this, they can do whatever they want, but they're not getting in. The school district hopes the locks will never need to be used, but they're being installed to prepare for a worst case scenario. Have something in place between the schools and the police ahead of time. Ken Trump of National School Safety and Security Services told me proactive plans are important because Ohio ranks highest in the country with 64 school related threats in the past six months. He adds while the majority of those threats are not serious and don't result in a hostile intruder situation, it's up to schools to quickly react. The schools need to be prepared to hit the ground running with a good threat assessment protocol to see if a threat's credible, a crisis communications plan to get accurate information out, and most of all, education with kids so that they can try to prevent these in the first place. Soulsby admits his barricades won't prevent another school shooting from taking place. But he explained to me they can limit the number of potential victims and give emergency response personnel a useful way to evaluate the level of danger when they arrive on scene. We wanted to, to bring that stress level down, get everyone away from the door, don't hold the door, don't put anything near the door except for the barricade, and sit with your students in the back. Soulsby says Madison schools will be equipped with 230 barricade locks for its classrooms, like here at the high school, that will be ready for use in the next two weeks. Reporting in Madison, Nick Foley for News Channel 5. Soulsby also says more than five school districts in Northeast Ohio have added the barricade locks to their classrooms.